Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about three way interactions in R. So, this is uh, the part four of the series of videos that we are discussing. Uh, we are covering the, uh, the categorical variable regression in R. So, we are going to load these three packages, uh, install it. I have already installed them, so I'm not going to execute this line of code. And we are going to load these three packages. These three packages are used for different purposes. For example, in tidyverse package, we have ggplot, which we are going to use for uh, the, uh, the visualization uh, and for data manipulation. So let's first start with creating a data frame. So remember to execute this line of code. So when you execute this line of code, you would get the exact same data and the exact same graphs uh, and analysis as we would get. So let's set the seed and create a dummy data. This is a data where we have different individuals, their age, their marks, salary, gender, and education. And you can see we have created uh, 500 observations in each case. For example, age is between 20 to 45 in our data. Marks are between 20 to 100 and salary is between 1,000 to 5,000 dollars. Gender is male or female and education is between 8 to 18 years of education. So this is how the data looks like. This is the data that we have. Now what we are going to do is first we are going to use the LM function to execute the linear regression model where the salary is the dependent variable and education, uh, gender and age, these are the interaction variable. One of them is our dependent, our independent variable and the other to our the moderating variable. Remember, three way interaction is when we have two moderating variable uh, moderating the impact of an independent variable on uh, the dependent variable. So in this case, this is the first case that we are going to discuss related to three way interaction, where we would have at least one categorical variable, uh, one categorical moderating variable, and the rest would be the continuous moderating variable. Similarly, we would discuss the second case, we would have all the variables, both the moderating variable, uh, both of the moderating variable and the, uh, the, the independent variable would all be continuous. So let's discuss the first case where we would have a one categorical variable. So let's say this gender is a categorical variable. This is a moderating variable. Age is a moderating variable. What we want to see is the impact of education on salary. And this impact is moderated by gender and age. So let us execute this model and let's uh, present the summary statistics. So we get these summary statistics. We get the main effect of education, the main effect of gender, the main effect of age. And then we have a two way interaction of education and gender, education and age, uh, gender and age. And lastly, we have a three way interaction. Now, for us to conclude that both these variable plays play as a moderating variable, this uh, coefficient should be significant. So in this case, it is not significant. So we cannot say that uh, both of these variables combinedly have an interacting effect. Uh, but anyways, we would move forward because this is just dummy data and we want to display, we want to uh, give you the idea of how do we perform the three-way interaction and more importantly, how do we create uh, margins and margins plot in R because interpreting these kind of regressions uh, th from this table is quite uh, tricky. Uh, we would need some kind of visualization to interpret them. So uh, let's move towards that. So first step to create margins and margins plot is that we need some kind of an interval. So we create interval for age, interval for education and gender is already in the categorical form. So we are creating intervals because we need a few values. And when we move to this line of code where we create the, the visualization, I would give you the idea, more explanation why we are creating these, uh, these intervals. So first we need to create some kind of intervals. For example, in age, we, let's say age, in our case, age starts from 20 and it ends till, 20, or for, till 45. So what we can do is we can have uh, a series of age where it would be uh, separated by uh, a value of five, uh, right? So a gap of five would be there. We can do it like this, but again, this is something that is not an automated way of doing things. I would like to give you a code which is automated and you do not have to worry 
uh, what is the minimum and maximum value. So what we do is ignore this line of code. I'm going to uh, comment this out. So you are not going to use this. I just wanted to give you an idea that we are going to create an interval. So what I, instead I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sequence uh, function. And within that, I'm going to take the minimum age from my data. So my data frame is called data. It contains 500 observations and this I want to get the age variable and then I want to take the minimum of this age variable. So I get 20. I already knew it over here. So that's why I, I chose this value. But in your case, you might not know. Um, I would have to at least look into the data and then create this uh, these intervals. So I want that to be automated. Then I'm going to take the maximum value that is 45. So I'm going to uh, take the minimum and the maximum and create at least five i mean create five different uh, five different uh, values at the same uh, same interval so if i do that uh, and if i can show you the age then you can see that these are the five values at exact same interval so previously we had six but I chose five intervals. So that's why these values are different from the ones that I had over here. Uh, okay, we are going to do the same for education. We're going to take the minimum value of education, the maximum value of education, and we are going to create an interval uh, uh, with a gap of five. So these are the different uh, education levels that we have in our data set uh, in, for which we are going to create margins and margins plot and then we have uh, the the gender categories male and female so now we have these three vectors what we are going to do is use the expand grid and combine these at the same time create uh, a, create multiple combinations of each so for example for each male we would have uh, eight level of education for male and female and 20 age for male and female. So, so we would have uh, a combination of values. Let me show you this one. So we have male with eight years of education for all age groups. Then we have male for 10.5 years of education for all age groups. So we have created uh, all the possible permutation or combinations of, of these, uh, these categories. Once we have that, what we are going to do is we are going to take this data frame that contains all these different uh, different values and then we are going to mutate. We are going to create a new column which would be called predicted salaries where we would use the predicted function, take the three model, three way interaction model that we executed over here, this, this linear regression model and we are going to use, you know, this predicted value, this predicted function would give us the predicted values. This is what we want. We want the predicted value for each, uh, for each of different combination of these three variables, right? Uh, and if I execute this, you will see that uh, we would have another column which would have a predicted value right so what we are saying is that a male with an education of eight years with an age of 20 according to our model would earn 29 29 dollars similarly a male with an education of eight years and an age of 26.25 would earn around three thousand dollars similarly let me give you another example a female with an uh, education of 18 years and an age of 45 would earn $3,011. So now we have the predicted sal salaries and what we are going to do is we are going to create a margins plot. For that, we are going to use ggplot function, uh, provide it the data frame, uh, provide the, the x and the y variables. So age is our x variable, predicted salary is our y variable, and we are going to color code the education uh, these lines uh, for different level of education. At the same time, we are going to create uh, two different graphs for uh, different genders. So let me execute this and you would see that we would have two graphs. Uh, one is for male and the second is for female. And now you would see that we have age at, at x-axis and predicted salary at y-axis. We can see that uh, as the age increases, the uh, the salary of male and the salary of female uh, both increases but for different level of education 
the for example at eight level of education the salary increase with age is quite steep but for a higher level of education the salary increase the slope is not as steep as with lower education levels but this is the dummy data so you do not have to worry about that and do get more education right uh, similarly we have this graph over here we can we can look at this graph and see that uh, what is the impact of education uh, impact of age on predicted salary for uh, for for different level of education and for female so this is how we create uh, these graph now you you, you, see, you can see that we we only had five categories five intervals because if we had a lot of intervals we would have a lot of lines for education and that would create a quite uh, cluttered graph and it would be difficult to interpret it right so let's move to our second case where we have all the continuous variables so once you understand the first case it is not difficult to understand the second case again we execute a regression where we have salary marks age and education now you can see that all of these variables are continuous they are not categorical variable let me execute this regression we do not need to look at the this the the coefficient etc we are just going to move on to create the margins plot now as we did previously we are going to create age intervals let's do it for two different uh, age intervals we are going to create education intervals and marks intervals and then we are going to again do expand grid and uh, combine these uh, using different combinations uh, let me show you this uh, this uh, so we have uh, an individual with uh, 20 marks, 8 years of education, and 20 age, etc., etc. And once we have that, we are going to uh, create a column that is called predicted salary. So we take this data frame, mutate a column called predicted salary that would be predicted from the model that we executed over here, and it would take the data from this uh, this data frame. So if I execute this, and let me show you this. And you can see that an individual with 20 marks, 8 years of education, and 20 age would earn uh, a salary of 3400. Um, and next, what we are going to do is we are going to, I'm going to create a column that would uh, give me an idea of education and marks, right? And that would be separated by a, an underscore. So let me show you first, and then I would uh, discuss the code. We have this combined column where we know that this individual is have an eight year of education and 20 age. This is required for the graph purposes. Um, and once we draw the graph, you would, you would understand why I executed this line of code. So we take the data frame. We use the ggplot to create the uh, margins plot. We take the predicted salaries data frame. Uh, age is our x variable the independent variable predicted salary is the y variable and it should be color coded from the combined column that we just created uh, this column that is that that we just created and let me execute this line of code and we have over here uh, so so now we know that this this yellow line is for the for the one with eight years of education and age 20 so we can uh, so we have age at x axis predicted salary at y axis and both of our uh, category our, our continuous variable are categorized over here right uh, so if you want to download this code you can uh, check the link given in the description of this video uh, thanks for watching this video do subscribe to this channel do hit the bell icon